bring you two scripture texts. The first one, come to me, all you are overburdened, and I will give you rest. My yoke is easy and my burden light. The second, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. You are probably familiar with these two scripture texts. Now, many of us come to the novena precisely because we are burdened and we find it hard to struggle with some of the problems or troubles we are encountering. Sometimes we find it hard to trust God's will and so we struggle. The two scripture texts that I quoted to you earlier give us hope and direction. I'd like to reread for you two letters I read earlier because these two letters highlight the point I'm trying to make. The first one is a petition. Dear Mother of Perpetual Hope, I pray for my sister to have great strength to overcome her difficulties. The second letter is a thanksgiving letter. Dearest Mother Mary, I'm very grateful to you for always interceding with our Lord for all my prayers. About 29 years ago, I came to your shrine to pray for a child. Within two weeks, I was blessed with one. My husband became ill when my child was 10 years old. I came to you to pray for strength to bear the burden of taking care of my family. And God blessed me with strength and physically and mentally. And today, I managed to put my child successfully to a university in the United Kingdom. She is now happily married. Now, all of us have problems. All of us struggle. The fact that you come here every Saturday by the thousands, and this has been going on for many, many, many years, right? Because we feel that coming to our mother, Papa, to help, you have a listening ear. You feel comfortable. You feel encouraged. You feel that I can now survive another week until the next week. And some of you have been here year after year after year. I've been here since 69, almost 50 years. I'm not that young, you know, although I look young. <laughs> All right? I've been here since 69. I was a non-Christian. I'm a convert. I was one of you, and today I'm here. I should retire soon, actually. Anyway, we struggle, right? And sometimes we are disappointed. We have failures. And this weighs us down. And that happened, we are disappointed with life. We are disappointed somebody with our families, our friends, our colleagues. Some of us are disappointed with ourselves. Some of us are even disappointed with God because we feel that God is not listening to my prayers. God is taking his sweet time to answer my prayers. And I am really, really struggling here. You know, recently, I'm sure you heard this news, huh? <clears throat> this very famous person, Kate Spade. She is a very successful fashion uh, person, a multi-millionaire. What happened to her? She hung herself, committed suicide, 55 years old, a husband and a daughter. Last night, I heard of another famous person who also committed suicide. You may know this person, Anthony, Anthony Bourdain, a famous chef. His shows on TV is very successful. He won many awards, two Amy's. What happened to him? 61 years old, in France, also hanged himself. Now you think people who are rich are happy, right? You think we have money, we can solve all problems. Two famous rich people, and yet they hang themselves. Another very famous person who died a few years ago, 
Robin Williams. Also hang himself. Now it's very sad whenever I hear story of people committing suicide. Because with every suicide, there is a story behind it. You and I will never know the reason why they commit suicide. You think, why commit suicide? You're so successful, you're so famous, and you're so rich. And yet, it happens. Sometimes people come to the novel and pray for financial aid. They think that by having money, I will solve all my problems. Well, not for these three people. They are rich beyond measure. And still, they hang themselves. All three committed suicide by hanging. Now, perhaps we feel that life is a failure. We have no happiness. We have no peace. We have no serenity. We feel like giving up. We are losing our faith. We are losing hope. And that's why some of these people sadly hang themselves, commit suicide, because they lost hope. What's the point of living, they say to themselves. I can't take the pain anymore. My solution is to kill myself. Then all pain comes to an end. Very sad, right? But it happens. Whether you're young or you're old. So these people give up on themselves, they give up on life. The two Quotes I gave you, come to me or you are overburdened and I'll give you rest. My yoke is easy and my burden light. The second one, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. They are message of hope. You and I may give up on ourselves, but God don't and never give up on us. We give up on God, some of us, but God don't and never give up on us. Our mother of perpetual help, her title, the key words are perpetual help. She never stopped, she never ceased helping us, in other words. That's why you come every week faithfully for years and years and years, because you know Mother Mary will not fail you. You know, the letters I read to you, some of them say, Mother, you're always with me. Mother, you always listen to my prayer. You have never failed me, Mother. So we need to realize that life is tough. Everybody has problems. We think, we think that only I got a problem, you know. But sometimes you talk to each other and you realize, hey, I'm not alone. Your problem and my problem are very similar. Sometimes you read, I read a letter to you and you, you listen to the letters. Huh? Say, hey, I could have written that letter. Because the person's letter and my situation are about the same. Struggling over the same thing. So you don't feel that I'm all alone. In times of stress, we sometimes think that I am the only one with this problem. The fact is that no, <laughs> most of us have these similar problems, be it health, be it a relationship, be it career, be it studies, and whatever else. And that's why we encourage all of you to write letters. When you put your letters in the shrine, Thousands of people are praying with and for you. We pray for one another. We don't pray only for ourselves. Huh? We pray for one another. And that's why we encourage you to do so. That's why the letters are so powerful. It's your letter, you know. It comes from you. And many people say one of the best part of the novena is the letter. When I listen to the letters, the petition and the thanksgiving. I feel encouraged by the thanksgiving letters to keep going. That's why your letter is important. That's why we keep saying to you, please write thanksgiving letter because your letter can change someone else's life. So my dear friends, mother or papa to help intercede for us 
and she too has gone up and down in her life. And Mother Mary loves her children, all of us, and she cares for us. The lesson is simple, a lesson of hope, a lesson of trust. And let us pray for one another. There are many people out there who may be thinking of suicide also. You never know. And these people are actually desperate. So we give them the strength and the courage to keep going, not to give up, that God is with them.